Well, I think uh, if, if you're asking me when I found out the, like, for real, for real, like, knew that, uh, I, I think I got up, I had some uh, more messages than I normally did. I think that was Sunday morning. Or that was it Monday morning? I don't remember. I was already in the mode. But uh, I went down to the um, computer and, and saw the the uh, highlights on the internet. It's whatever, 7.30 in the morning uh, when I got up. So I kind of knew a little bit when uh, I saw my phone in the morning, saw the morning, and just uh, saw the clips and the talk uh, on the internet about uh, the deal, agree agreement of a deal and, and – uh, that process. I think of what I was watching was Aaron Ward had sprinted from one hotel to the other and was out of breath when he was talking on TSN. I had a n number of texts from players. Uh, they were kind of a uh, awkward, awkward first date type of text. You know, they they were. I uh, but the general sentiment was it's great to. Uh, to have a deal, great to be back, great to get this thing going here as quickly as we possibly can. And you know, we we haven't known what what we can do on the ice, off the ice, talk to players or not. We really haven't done much in terms of hockey, but um, a bunch of uh, kind of awkward texts saying excited to be back and excited to get this thing going here quickly. Coach, have you heard anything about uh, preseason games, if you're going to have them or not, and depending on your answer? The importance of them or maybe not so much with such a quick camp yeah surprisingly enough the amount of detail that I have about um, when they're going to officially ratify when they're going to be able to start camp what we're going to be operating under a seven or a six day I have unbelievably very little information at this point in time we're kind of just right in a contingency where you know can you play an exhibition game can you not what is it going to be six days or five or seven, and, and when we're going to start? I really don't um, have any information yet from the league in that regard, and we're just kind of waiting for when that happens. And we're ready for, or, you know, we're ready for a midweek start. We're ready for a weekend start to our training camp. We're ready for the possibility of a of an exhibition game. We're ready for the, not the possibility of an exhibition game. So I wish I had a little bit more information, and I'm waiting for it too. But we're kind of ready for all things at this point in time, and. I think we all would like uh, a dry run. Everyone would like shoot at me as a coach. I haven't I haven't coached a game for a long time. Just managing the bench, running the, the lines, having our players used to that would be something I would like to, to go through for myself. So a lot of that is out there. I think we would benefit from it, but I don't know if that's going to be the case for any of the teams to be able to do that. So we're, we're just kind of waiting and see. Certainly have an idea that uh, Kunitz, Crosby, and Dupuy are going to be playing together and Neil and Malkin will be playing together and then there's some wiggle room um, with the, the other player in the top six there in the top two lines so um, and I can see several players fitting into to playing on that line with Malkin and Neil um, depending on the situation the game you know whether we're up in a game or, or not but that's really the initial thoughts and that's what you'll see when we start uh, day one. People have asked me a lot of questions about the lockout. They've asked me what I've been doing. They've, I'm I'm in no different boat, really, than the fans. I, I'm not a part of the, the negotiations. I didn't know very much about them there at all. And I'm ex, I'm extremely excited to get back to work. And I, I the fans, I know the fans here in Pittsburgh and, and all hockey fans, I think uh, uh, we're certainly disappointed we didn't have hockey. Um, sometimes it's tough to to try to figure out or understand what's going on, but I'm excited to have uh, hockey back. I'm excited to get back at it. I'm excited to see the, the fans here at the Consul Energy Center fill it up. I know they're going to be, uh, I know it's going to be loud. We just saw a video yesterday about the opening video, and it was on the Jumbotron, and I'm like, it, the fans are going to be absolutely uh, rocking this place. I'm, I, I know they're excited to have it back, and, and I hope they, uh, I hope they're just as excited. I hope they get back right right to the game and